I love playing VR, but my current haptic solution is, shall we say, rudimental. I've got this bag of broken PlayStation controllers, and I'm going to pull all the vibration motors out of them and build a haptic VR vest. Now we've got the motors, it's time to design and print some mounts to hold them to the vest. So here's the vest that I'll be using. And here is one of the motor mounts, and the next job is to glue it on, and I'll be using some hot glue. Now the motors are sorted, we need a way to power them. I've designed this simple circuit around a H-bridge motor driver, and there's gonna be two of these, each powering four motors. Next, I've designed this box to hold the electronics, I'm just gonna, ah. Luckily, there's a simpler way. Here's the box. I've drilled one hole here for the motor on the left side and tried to drill another one here but it cracked. Better left to do. So I'm going to glue it down here like this and then wire up all the motors to it. I've wired up all the motors now and added a Raspberry Pi to control it all. Unfortunately one of the motors was broken so I've had to remove it for the moment. Now I'm going to run a quick test to check all of the other motors work correctly. All that's left to do now is to get the game to control the vest. I did some research and found that B Haptics, who are a company who make commercial VR vest, publish their SDK and it shows that they use a web socket to pass messages from the game to the vest. So all I need to do is write a Python script to read the web socket messages and pass them on to my vest. I'm gonna tell you two things. Protect yourself at all times, and obey what I say at all times. Let's make this a clean fight. 